Alright, moving into the primary weapons, the first category is the assault rifles, and the first weapon is the standard assault rifle. The assault rifle is a basic weapon of most special operation units. This rapid fire rifle is most effective in medium range combat. Alright, and here are the statistics. Average damage, low blood frenzy, average accuracy, great range, average rate of fire, and average ammo. So, it seems to be an all-around rifle, could be used for any situation. Alright, let's test the assault rifle out. Alright, so as the statistics suggest, it does sound and look pretty average. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the same exact assault rifle used in Resident Evil 3, the M4A1, I believe. Alright, now let's test the assault rifle on a human player. Alright, so 18 shots from the assault rifle to take down a human player. Like I said, average statistics, a good all-around weapon. Alright, that is it for the assault rifle. Now for the next assault rifle, the burst rifle. The burst rifle is a classic semi-automatic assault rifle. Lightweight and accurate with a medium range scope, this weapon is a handy default for any reconnaissance mission. Alright, here are the statistics. Average damage, acceptable blood frenzy, high accuracy and high range, acceptable rate of fire, and acceptable ammo. So, this really is a good weapon. I mean, that's what the scope is for. That's why the accuracy and range are so high. And it has the same amount of damage as the assault rifles. So, as the description suggests, good for reconnaissance missions. Alright, let's test the burst rifle out. Alright, so the burst rifle does have a scope, as it said, and it is the only weapon in the game that is not a sniper rifle that comes with a scope. Alright, and of course it is burst fire, so can't hold down the trigger and expect to get all the shots off. <laughs> Alright, let's test the burst rifle on a human player. Alright, so only 15 shots with the burst rifle to take down a human player. Or, of course, 5 bursts. It looks like it has a similar firepower to the Matilda, but it is an assault rifle, so there are a lot of differences. And, of course, the scope can be used to target your enemies from a long distance, so the burst rifle is pretty cool. And is more powerful than the assault rifle. Alright, that is it for the burst rifle. Now for the next assault rifle, the Militia Rifle. A resilient and trustworthy automatic assault rifle, the Militia Rifle has a medium range and average rate of fire. And here are the statistics. Great damage, acceptable blood frenzy, average accuracy, great range, average rate of fire, and average ammo. So overall, it seems to be a tiny bit better than the regular assault rifle. It's basically another all-around weapon and could be used for any situation as well. Alright, let's test the Militia Rifle out. Alright, so the Militia Rifle acts just like an AK weapon of some sort. Pretty sure that's either the 47 or the 74 right there. Or hell, it may not be either. Could be a different AK or not even an AK. I don't really know my weapons that much. I rely on internet sources. <laughs> now let's test the Militia Rifle on a human player. Alright, so only 12 shots with the Militia Rifle to take down a human player. So it has a greater amount of firepower than the previous two rifles, for sure. Alright, that is it for the Militia Rifle. Now for the next Assault Rifle, the Suppressed Rifle. The Suppressed Rifle is a covert, medium-range Assault Rifle that allows you to avoid detection while rapidly firing bullets into the heads, hearts, and outstretched hands of flesh-hungry monsters. <laughs> 
Alright, and here are the statistics. Average damage, acceptable blood frenzy, high accuracy, average range, rate of fire, and ammo. So, yet another average rifle, good for any situation. But this one's just the stealthiest of them all, it seems. Alright, let's test the suppressed rifle out. Alright, being a suppressed rifle, it is equipped with a silencer and is a lot less noisy than the previous three rifles. Alright, let's test the suppressed rifle on a human player. Alright, so 14 shots with the suppressed rifle to take down a human player. Not as powerful as the militia rifle or the burst rifle, but still slightly more powerful than the assault rifle. Alright, that is it for the suppressed rifle. Now for the next assault rifle, the hammer. The hammer is a powerful assault rifle that has significant stopping power. <laughs> Alright. The statistics show high damage, average blood frenzy, average accuracy, great range, acceptable rate of fire, and acceptable ammo. So, I'll tell you here, this is my personal favorite assault rifle in the game. I use it quite a bit over any other weapon as a primary. Simply because that even though it has high damage, it still keeps its other statistics pretty good. There's not a single bad stat of this weapon. Alright, let's test the hammer out. Alright, so the hammer is definitely a slower firing assault rifle, as well as having less capacity before you have to reload. It's hardly a price to pay since this is the most powerful assault rifle. You may lose all your ammo fairly quicker than all the other assault rifles, but there's always ammo on the mission, so shouldn't have a problem with it. Alright, let's test the hammer out on a human player. <sighs> Alright, so only 10 shots with the hammer to take down a human player. So yeah, the hammer does live up to its statistic of firepower. It is the most powerful assault rifle in the game anyway. However, the other stats may get to you, like the low amount of ammo. There's only 20 rounds per clip, so you might have to reload a lot, especially if you're spamming the trigger. That is it for the hammer. Now for the last assault rifle. The Ravager. The Ravager is a Widowmaker. This heavy assault rifle deals a beautifully lethal burst of firepower that's worth writing home about. Alright, and here are the statistics. Great damage, great blood frenzy, great accuracy, great range, acceptable rate of fire, and acceptable ammo. So, it seems this weapon is a very good assault rifle to use in the game. The rate of fire and the ammo are the only drawbacks to this weapon, but that is a small price to pay. I do not know why I don't use this rifle more than the hammer, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's test the Ravager out. Alright, so if you can't handle the statistics of the hammer when it comes to the firing speed and the capacity, the Ravager is a very good substitute for that. It does up the capacity and firing speed a tiny bit and still maintains good power and overall stats. So if the hammer doesn't do good for you, the Ravager should. Alright, let's test the Ravager on a human player. <laughs> Alright, 12 shots with the Ravager to take down a human player. So, has the same amount of firepower as a militia rifle, 
but the other statistics, of course, are different. So, like I said earlier, if the hammer doesn't do it for you, the Ravager will. Alright, that is it for the Ravager, as well as all assault rifles. Alright, now for the next category, the submachine guns. The first one is your average submachine gun. The submachine gun with laser sight is a rapid-fire, medium-range weapon that's popular among the Umbrella Security Service. And that's true, because in the very first sequence in the game, you could see Hunk holding it while he's briefing Delta Team. Alright, so here are the statistics. Low damage, average blood frenzy, low accuracy, acceptable range, high rate of fire, and great ammo. So, when it comes to the transition from assault rifles and submachine guns, I guess you're trading power for rate of fire and ammo. Alright, so let's test the submachine gun out. Being a submachine gun, it definitely has a much faster fire rate and a lot higher capacity. So if you're not all about the power, the submachine guns are a better fit for you than the assault rifles. Alright, so let's test the submachine gun on a human player. Alright, so 20 shots from the submachine gun to take down a human player. So yeah, submachine guns, it's a big choice between assault rifles and submachine guns. Power buffs use assault rifles, people who like high, high speed weapons, submachine guns are for you. Alright, that is it for the standard submachine gun. Now for the next submachine gun, the tactical submachine gun. The tactical submachine gun with laser sight is one of the most popular submachine guns in the world. A rapid-fire, close-range weapon with great single-shot accuracy, it's a dependable gun to have on your side. Alright, and here are the statistics. Average damage, great blood frenzy, acceptable accuracy, average range, great rate of fire, and average ammo. So, this seems to be the all-around type of submachine gun, good for any situation. Really no bad statistic about it. Alright, so let's test this tactical SMG out. Alright, so the tactical SMG has a different sound glyph of firing. It's kind of irrelevant to the review. Just felt like pointing that out. Some of these weapons I'm not going to have much to say since they're hardly different from any previous weapon I reviewed, so I might say something irrelevant like that. So forgive me, please. You see the stats beforehand, so I don't really need to explain them again. Alright, so let's test the tactical SMG on a human player. Alright, so 14 shots from the tactical SMG to take down a human player. So, slightly more powerful than the regular submachine gun. Makes sense, it is a tactical. The capacity and the fire rate are a little lower. That's always the trade-off. Power for another statistic. Alright, that is it for the tactical submachine gun. Now for the next submachine gun. The mini submachine gun. The mini submachine gun is an automatic flash suppressed submachine gun with an overwhelming fire rate that's best controlled by short bursts at close range. If properly aimed, this unwieldy weapon offers a devastating barrage of bullets. <laughs> Alright, and here are the statistics. Very low damage, great blood frenzy, really low accuracy, really low range, maximum rate of fire, high ammo. So, ooh, they're not kidding when they say if you aim this correctly, because the accuracy and the range suffer big time. So, if you're far away and shooting this weapon, you barely have any chance of hitting your enemy. But yeah, that rate of fire and that ammo, though, this is a good machine gun if you're purely close range anyway. <laughs> Alright, now let's test it out. Alright, 
Alright, so the Mini SMG is definitely a bullet spammer. It does have the highest rate of fire of any machine gun so far, and most likely has the highest rate of fire out of all the weapons in this game. The only other contender might be the machine pistol, which I'll be covering shortly. Alright, now let's test the Mini SMG on a human player. <laughs> Alright, 23 shots from the mini SMG to take down a human player. So, the firepower obviously is very weak. It is one of the fastest firing machine guns in the game. Even though it has a low firepower, it does have a higher blood frenzy than most other machine guns. So it might make up for that. Alright, that is it for the mini submachine gun.